it's all about the art. First and foremost, it has to has to be activated within the art itself. But when you know, it's it's not about taking an artist on anymore and just representing them from the get go. It's about building those relationships. So you you have sort of a couple of shows and you build on that. But um, for me, I I have to be really excited about them, and I have to almost try very hard to keep up with them because that motivates me to do a better job. And these are perfect examples of that. Um, but uh, work work is one. Quality and production is, is another. As a dealer, I, I need work to survive. That's that's you know my intent is to sell artwork, and that's 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 what I do for a job. Um, so I have to have that, that work to be able to do that. Um, but also uh, honesty, integrity, the things that I try and um, put forward as a dealer, I, I want that to <coughs> as well. Communication, I try and communicate to everyone. It's like having 20 extra children, you know, that I have to do Twitter and Facebook and I've got four or five different screens up at once and people are blogging and da da da. But communication is essential, so they have to be able to respond to what I'm saying and providing and vice versa. Um, and generally just um, motivation, ambition, you know. We all sort of have, within the family of Paul Nash, everyone's, everyone's kind of quite alike. We're all part of this sort of association, whether it be through birthplace to Gisborne or association to some kind of um, art genre. We all sort of fit together in our own motley bunch. And supportive crew too. Yeah, very supportive, yeah. Not selfish people, everyone's out there helping each other. Yeah, everyone supports one another. Like the practice. word family that Matty used I think is quite appropriate for Paul mm. Nash. You know, it's a real kind of cohesive crew. It's all about farming. Yeah, it's yeah. true. And as cheesy as it sounds, it's quite true. Yeah, yeah, and it, it does. And that's you know that's when I select those artists. I have to have I have to consider how they fit within that family. You know, taking on a um, uh, what is it like an adoptee, I suppose. You know how they mm -hmm. fit. But sometimes it can be. Sometimes it can work being quite out there. You know, so when I brought Scott on, your works were really different to anything that I had in the gallery at the time and that's kind of shifted my, my motivation into looking at other artists that you know that I can pull up under you as well. Um, so you have sort of different little pockets of, of artists. Well I do anyway. Mm. Some galleries have an overall sort of aesthetic. I try and you know have two or three sort of running mm. um, parallel to one another. Yeah. But um, yeah just and just have fun like if, if we weren't having fun like that's yeah. the that's the essence. Like if we weren't having fun at what we were doing um, I'd take it in, you know, but we have a lot of fun, <laughs> mm. and and that that's in itself creates, you know, what we do, the, the spectacle and the hype, and um, mm. we just really enjoy what we do. Mm. One, of the, one of the things I said at Hawke's Bay as well, like I've, I've talked to um, maybe about 30 or 40 people that were interested in, in how, how I was to price the works as a dealer, and I, and I asked them, and I said, well, have, have you been into the galleries and have you seen this and da da da? And a lot of them hadn't. They, they're making artwork and they want it priced, but they were completely unaware of the, you know, what was around them locally. And so that local kind of thing, mm -hmm. like you can look online and see things, but get out there, you know, look into the galleries, see how your works connect with those galleries. Just walk into the space and you'll get an essence of, of what that space is and how your works work in it. Mm -hmm. Before you go and take your portfolio and make that association, with that space, you know, look at it on a kind of a spiritual level first, if even, you know, just feel, feel if it's going to work and feel if your works suit that space or that, that stable of artists, um, that town even, and, and then, you know, go to the next step and go to the openings and start to introduce yourself and put yourself out there. And it's a lot of work, mm. you know, it's a great, and you have to really work at it because the networking is a massive part of it. Mm. And then just don't bombard a dealer, you know, just, just send them a couple of really good works <laughs> that they want to get, you know, inspired by and, and give you that response, because it's really hard, you know, you, you, you're feeling, a, you're doing already a great deal of stuff um, to go through a portfolio overnight and then be able to critically sort of respond to that can be quite difficult, so just start slow and just be patient.